Okay, so last week we were introduced to the concept of visual design principles and elements, and we applied those to kind of five common items that you had. What I'd like to do now is apply those same principles and elements to the actual object that you're going to use in reverse engineering. So we're going to do a visual analysis on the part that you've selected. We're going to start activity 6.2, visual analysis. I know that when you go to resources, it says automobile blocks. We're not going to do it on the auto blocks. You guys have selected your items. So when you open the Word document, make sure you're selecting the alternate activity or the alternate Word document. When you open that up, it's going to look something like this. And let's look at kind of the instructions on what is required for this activity. Starting with the procedure. In your engineer's notebook, or this can be done on a Word document if you prefer, identify the product of your study. For example, like in this Word document, they're going to do a hose nozzle as the object for reverse engineering. Using a digital camera, you can use your phone camera, you can use uh, images that you find online. So if your part is fairly common, you can find those images, you can use those as well. Take at least two pictures of the product from different angles, print out or save those images, and we're going to secure them either in the notebook or you're going to place them within the Word document, depending on how you choose to do this. Create a capture under each image that identifies the particular object view. And then next to each image, write a description of the visual design principles and elements that are evident from that particular view. So let's look at an example here. Here's their hose nozzle. Got the two images. This is a left side view and a front side view of this. Identified that with captions and then did a, a narrative to identify the different elements and principles of design. I especially like the way that they did the elements of principles in a different color. You could use a different color, you could underline, you could bold, you could do something to make these stand out from the rest of the narrative that you're doing. At the bottom of this activity then there are some conclusion questions. I want you to fill those out as well, answer those. If you're doing a notebook, you can go in the notebook. If you're doing the Word document, I would suggest just answering it on there. I'm going to give you two days to get that done. Once we finish that, we'll move on to the next step in the reverse engineering project, which will be a functional analysis.